Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday night and I'm back again with another video. Hope you guys week has been going well. Tonight I have a short video for you and I want to give you guys some banking tips uh, for safety. Uh, I thought about this video because um, I guess since um, the holidays have passed, guys my days have been really busy basically what I've been doing is closing and opening new accounts counseling debit cards and um, you know stop payments and different things like that because during the holiday season especially it happens all the time but during the holidays especially there is so much fraud that happens on on accounts and especially during the Christmas holidays oh my goodness I cannot tell you the number of phone calls I receive the number of customers that come into the bank on the daily um, because they have been um, victims of fraud and you know people ordering things online and it just it's, it can be a mess so I thought about this I was like wow you know this is what I do this is my job so I felt like it was something that I could share here on my channel for the simple fact that a lot of us already know these tips but a lot of people don't and a lot of us also are caring you know or caregivers for our senior parents and or older parents and they don't have the knowledge you know and they don't know how things uh, you know are happening in the world these days and how bad things can become so I want to share a few couple practical tips uh, to keep you safe while banking or keep you safer because I'm telling you guys the technology that these guys have now is surpassing and it's like we have to just keep trying to stay one step ahead of them so we're going to start first with using your debit card. Uh, you know, that's a very convenient way. I am debit card queen because I don't like uh, carrying cash, especially living in the city that I do. Um, this city has a um, reputation of having a lot of thefts. So I don't want to be a victim of having cash on me. You know, it would be easier for me to cancel a card than it would be to get cash back. So I don't carry cash. So if you're a person like me, who carry your debit cards I'm just going to share a couple practical tips that you may not think about because it doesn't make you dumb or anything it's just things that we don't typically think about one of them is that you never um, and I'm saying never never use your debit card at gas pumps you know it used to be a time where you get up you could pull into a gas station and you could get out swipe be done, get back in your car and be on your way. And it was convenient because it saved you those few steps to go inside the stores. It also, you know, shielded you from the rain and weather. If it was cold or whatever, you can get out, get in. Or a lot of times people just swipe and sit back in their cars. But guys, because of technology and the devices that they have now, the skimmers that they can put on gas pumps that can read your information, it is very unsafe. For you to do that also there are little micro cameras that are being installed that are put on uh, the different pumps that can actually see you keying in like your sometimes when you swipe it'll ask you for your zip code if you know uh, if you run it as a credit and you enter that it can actually capture those keys uh, the punches and you know they have that information so it's very unsafe to use your debit card at a gas pump in any city in any state hear me in any city in any state so it's very it's it's probably safer for you to go inside of the store and just go ahead and take those steps go ahead on be cold or whatever and go ahead and go inside and run it with the the cashier um, to make it a little bit safer for you also um, be beware of outdoor ATMs do not if you at all possible use any type of outdoor ATMs where you walk up to them. Um, I don't even really care for the drive up because of the, the safety issues nowadays. A lot of banks are now uh, building these enclosed uh, booths for people to come in. Even Bank of America have where you have to swipe to get inside and actually it's supposed to be one swipe per person. That means if 
I'm going in and there's a customer behind me, that customer needs to stay outside the doors until I come out. When I swipe, that's me going in to be serviced, so they cannot go in with you. Now, if you allow them to come in and stand in the back, that's on you. But everybody's supposed to swipe their cards before entering to go in to use the ATM machine. So, you know, just make sure you're, you're aware of that because it's not so much, you know, well, it is people can come up to you and rob you, but they're also... Uh, these new devices, well, they're probably not very new, but they're becoming well-known, where they can actually just get close to you and can read your information. They don't have to have your, have your, you don't have to have your card out or insert it in any machines. It can actually read your information off of your card in your wallet inside of your purse. I know that sounds crazy, but there are devices that can do that. You can Google it <laughs> if you don't believe me, but their devices, all they need to be is just within a couple, you know, feet of you to be able to read it. Not only does it read your 16 digit card number, it also can read the three digit pin on the back. So that would be information that they would need if they were ordering online. Because sometimes when you call places and order places, or if you're actually ordering over the computer, it just asks you for the three-digit you know, code on the back of the card. You enter the name. You see the name. It's on the card, the 16-digit account number, and you flip the card over and put your three-digit PIN number, and you're on your way with ordering something. So be very mindful of that. Now, a lot of banks are issuing out these little card holders that are protective shields, and I'm going to show you guys the one that I have. Okay. This is my um, card holder. And you see what it looks like on the back of it. It has this, it says R, let's see, RFID shield. I don't know if it'll pick it up or not. And this prevents that device from reading my card number. So you can go to your banks. I don't know if all banks have these. My bank does. So I got this to protect myself when I'm carrying... Uh, my car is with me so that if I do have it in my purse, I'm in a crowd of people in a shopping mall or at a show concert or something. If somebody gets close to me, they cannot read through this. It has that protective uh, barrier within this particular card holder. So it has to be a specific one that has that RFID shield in order to protect you from that. So just inquire within your bank and uh, and see if they have one that they can give to you. They We just give them away to customers until they're gone. You know, we don't charge them or nothing for it. So your bank may have that if you don't, or you might want to Google it and see if it's somewhere you could go out and purchase it. That's another safety layer for you. Okay. Also, um, I wanted to give some uh, advice to, to share with your, your parents, your senior parents. Let them know that banks will not ask you to verify any information over the phone. When they call you, sometimes you might receive a phone call from the bank saying that, um, they have suspected fraud on your account, and they'll ask you to verify your social and your, you know, or your give them your 16-digit card number or your PIN number. Banks will not ask you that information. If someone calls you or your parents and asks you for that information, guys, that is not legit. Tell them to hang up immediately. Also, have your parents refrain from sharing information that they did not generate. If they did not generate a call to their bank and someone calls them, Tell them that I'm going to hang up and call you back. So tell them to hang up immediately and call the bank back. That way they generated the call. Do not call the number that called you, but just look up your, you know, your normal number that you normally call and call that number and then, then inquire about someone calling you. And that way you're generating the call so you know that you're actually calling that particular bank. So remember, we will never ask you to verify your information if we generate a call. We're not going to ask you to give us your numbers, your pins, your social, or any of that information. If they do that, it's a fraudulent call. Have them hang up immediately. That happens to so many of my customers. I have a lot of senior customers, and I cannot tell you, and it, it's so heartbreaking to me to have people come in and they've shared that information and people have gone and charged up all these different items and then you know it's a process to get all that stuff back because you have to go through the investigation and getting it verified making sure it's not a charge that you had so it can be really hard you know if you need your money right now in most cases you know we do end up refunding you know our customers our clients 
but it can be a very you know hard thing if you need money right now and we have to wait to investigate because we can't just be giving money back we have to make sure that it was a fraudulent charts so please make sure that you share that with uh, your parents or if you are a caregiver you're taking care of people who uh, may not know these types of things um, we also uh, try to warn our senior customers about people calling and asking them to uh, donate to different organizations or charities and having it automatically drafted from their accounts uh, if you want to be that type of person who donates and gives to people, I would suggest researching things for yourself rather than taking those phone calls. But the target is a lot of seniors. It's senior fraud is very prevalent. It is so much. And I, I, I feel it here when I have a, especially a young, well, a, a little old lady or, you know, I'll say that a senior lady or a senior man comes in and they're on a fixed income and their money has just been just taken from all of these different people who are out here just trying to prey on seniors it's, it's heartbreaking but a lot of our younger people don't know a lot of these things as well so it's important that we try to protect them and let them know that uh i guess the last thing that i want to say that um when you're out and about you want to try to carry as least cars as possible you know it's a time when you could carry all of your cars the way that I operate now if I know that I'm going to the mall and I'm going to be using a credit card if I have a particular store card I'll carry that card and my identification and maybe my debit card or if I have like 20 or 30 dollars worth of cash if I want to stop to get something to eat it is very important these days that you carry as few cards as possible in your wallets or a few cash that you have because you don't want to be a victim of crime and or identity theft. So the more stuff that they have in their purses, the more identity, you know, can be, you know, can be, can happen. Identity theft can happen. I'm getting tongue tied because people go and they duplicate, you know, your ID. They actually open new accounts, you know, with other banks and things like that because the more identification you have in your wallet, the easier it's going to be. And especially if you're a person that has some good credit, you know, people will be able to go and establish new accounts at different places. So be very, very vigilant. You have to be in these times. We're living in some times where, you know, it's evil and wickedness and people just pray off of others. People don't believe that. Uh, a lot of people don't believe that they uh, have to work for things. They feel that they have the right to take from other people. They hate people like me that is going to be out there trying to protect people and, and make people aware of safety. So I wanted to share that tonight with you guys. If, Like I said, it may not be you. It could be one of your children. It could be your parents, your grandparents. Please make sure that you help them to be aware and to be safe when they're out about shopping and carrying things in their purse you know you want to be careful guys so thank you guys for tuning in hope this was helpful uh i will be doing more videos like this uh i thought about it and i was like you know what you know i need to use the tools that i have and the things that i do every day to try to help and protect people so i wanted to share that with you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys on a later video this week so remember always peace and love <laughs> and I'll see you guys later.